Ambition to me means means putting in the hard work. That's what ambition means to me. Um, I think ambition is is distinctly different from dreams and wants in that ambition behind it has a work ethic and a commitment to actually do the do the mundane things, the things that nobody else really wants to do, that un, the, the unglamorous things. And that's 95%, you know, the, the really cool, um, shining things are like 5%, but the, the other 95% of ambition um, is all of those kind of grimy, mundane tasks kind of things. So that's what ambition is to me. Well, that's the other thing too that I think is, in, uh, is paired with ambition is just trying to do things and not being afraid to get those things wrong um, and more so trying to learn from those mistakes um, like I was where we're moving house right now right and um, one of the things that I did for my son we've been in this house for like 11 almost 12 years and one of the things that I, I did for my son right at the start was I made him this bookshelf he needed a bookshelf and I was like I'm poor as anything I can't, can't afford anything um, I found all of this free wood, so I decided to make him a bookshelf, and I made it with a, um, uh, with like a jigsaw kind of thing. And you cannot like saw a straight line with a jigsaw; it was all crooked and things like that. But he thought it was the greatest bookcase uh, ever. My son's a builder now, and oh, he's an apprentice builder now. And we were reflecting about how poor the workmanship was <laughs> on that um, on that bookshelf, and he was like, "Did you know that, Dan?" I go, "Yeah, you know, I knew. I knew that this looked." Terrible, but at the end of the day, you needed a bookshelf, and I mean, I could have just procrastinated about it and just overthought it, and then be like, "Oh no, I can't do this without a jigsaw," and then you wouldn't have had a bookshelf for, you know, the first kind of five years of your of your life in this house. Um, I didn't get the I didn't let the fact that I knew nothing about woodworking and had a really bad tool to do any of that stuff with uh, get in the way of actually creating something for my son. I'm, I'm very ambitious in my in my fatherhood, I, I guess, and that was because of the of the absence of of, um, of those kind of lessons growing up. Um, it's funny I'm doing my masters at the moment, and my thesis is around um, traditional Māori fatherhood and what that looks like in a modern context. And one of the quotes I use in my writing is that. Um, uh, a maunga, a mountain, is equally defined by the absence around it as it is by the presence of earth underneath it. And that's how I feel in regards to my, in, in regards to my parenthood, in regards to my current life, and in regards to why I, I am ambitious now. The most ambitious person I know right now is my younger daughter, Po. She's, um, she's 16 right now, but ever since she was like, you know, uh, five, six, seven kind of thing. Her cordial to me at that time was, um, oh, Dad, I want to grow up to, you know, to uh, perform and sing for millions of people uh, so that I can feed all the starving children in Africa and all of this kind of stuff. And I was, number one, I was like, okay, so I don't talk to her about feeding the starving children in Africa. Where has she, like, formulated this from? Um, and number two, that's a pretty big kind of goal for a, for a five to seven year old. Um, but I mean, she's just been smashing through those goals, right? Like she, she wrote, she started writing songs very early. Her first really good song that she wrote was when she was nine. That went semi-viral online and then she got funded to release her first single when she was 12 and just released her first EP this year. And yeah, her, her life is ridiculous, like her peers are the likes of Macy Rika and Tiki Tani and you know the Cora brothers and all of those kinds of things. They like know her and unappear. Her life is cooler than my life, I wish we could swap lives. Um, anyway, like I, I relate that to, to her ambition and it's not just in that music space. I'm a big space nerd so like I, I watch and I read a lot of things in regards to space and astrophysics and all of that kind of, all, all of those kinds of things. And I was watching Interstellar the other night for like the millionth time and she started asking me all of these quite high level questions about black, how black holes work and all of those kinds of things. So she's trying to seek this understanding of these things that she doesn't know. She's not afraid to go into those places that she doesn't know 
Um, she's not afraid of the of uh, of her unknowing and maybe getting it wrong because she knows. I guess she knows inherently that that's how you discover that. You discover that knowledge, but um, yeah, she is very yeah, very ambitious, um, very driven. So she's she's the most ambitious person in my life at the moment.